Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome to Vlogmas Day One. If you're watching this video on the day that it comes out, it is December 1st, and it's my official first day of Vlogmas. So, in case you don't know what that is, a lot of content creators like to participate in Vlogmas, and that's uploading a video daily in the month of December. For me, I'm going to push for December 1st until Christmas Day. That's kind of what my goal is, and it's to help us grow our channel. Uh, it's a motivator to get out more videos, and it's great for y'all because you get to see more videos. Most of my content, at least, will be daily vlogs throughout Vlogmas, showing you just our day-to-day -day life, bringing you with us every single day. Uh, there will be some videos like this one that are a little bit more, I guess, structured. Is that is that the word we're going to use? Like today, we're going to be doing a cook with me, and we're going to make dinner and a dessert. Um, but most days will just be daily vlogs, which is what I usually do anyway. I bring you through the day with us. I just typically upload five days a week, and through Vlogmas, I'm going to be shooting for seven days a week. Now, please, 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 if I have a day where a video doesn't get out, I know that you all will understand. <laughs> please understand it. I know you will. Uh, things do get crazy. Things get busy. Sometimes, you know, I might get behind and I might miss a day. I hope I don't, <laughs> but if I do, show me a little grace. So, like I said, this first video is going to be a dinner and dessert. We're going to make crock pot potato soup and mama's lemon pie. So, let's get to it. Let's start with our potato soup. This is my recipe for crock pot potato soup. It's really easy. I'm putting a two pound bag of hash browns, frozen hash browns in my crock pot. Then I'm going to put in, a, it's about two cups of chicken broth. This is homemade chicken broth that is frozen. That's why it looks like that. I thawed it out enough to get it in the crock pot and it will continue to melt as it cooks. Then to that, we're going to put one cup of water, one cup of milk, and then you're going to see here, I am taking one cup of heavy cream and I'm mixing in two tablespoons of flour. That will help thicken the soup as it cooks. So I'm just mixing that flour in real well, trying to get out as many of the little pieces and clumps as I can, and then we'll add that into our crock pot. In goes our heavy cream and flour mixture. Now I know a lot of people wait until the end or closer to the end to add their cheeses. I don't. I go ahead and put them in now. And this is one block or eight ounces of cream cheese. I just kind of cut it into cubes. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in now. I'm also going to go ahead and add in about one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And half of a medium onion chopped. You could add onion powder if you wanted. I just think that the fresh onion adds so much more flavor and it's what I like to use. Then I'm going to put in some salt and pepper. I'm starting with probably about half a teaspoon of each. And as this cooks, I'll taste it to see if I think it needs more. That's kind of going to, that's kind of going to be a personal preference kind of thing. I tried to give this a little bit of a stir, but because my hash browns are frozen and my chicken broth is frozen, I'm going to have to let it cook a little bit, and then I'll come back and stir it. I also decided to go ahead and add in some real bacon pieces. Originally, I was just going to use these as a topping, but I decided to add about a tablespoon of those in with the soup while it cooks, just so it'll give it a little extra flavor. Now, ideally, I would cook this on low all day long, six to eight hours. But I'm starting this a little bit later in the day, so I'm putting it on high for two to four hours. We also need to go ahead and get our pie mixed up because it needs to go in the refrigerator so that it sets. This may not be the most fall or winterish dessert out there, but it's definitely one of my favorite. It's Mama's Lemon Pie, and it's so very easy. It's just these four things right here. Um, an eight ounce container of Cool Whip, and I like to use the extra creamy. 
yep, there it is, <laughs> showing you that it's eight ounces of the extra creamy Cool Whip. Then I'm going to use this whole container, 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk, half a cup of lemon juice, and one graham cracker pie crust. That's it. That's all you need. I remember making this pie with my mom all goodness, more times than I could count as a kid. So maybe that's one of the reasons I like it so much is the memories, but it's also really, really good. And it's really easy to put together, something that your kids can definitely get in the kitchen and get involved with as well. So everything's just going in my bowl. My Cool Whip, my sweetened condensed milk. Y'all, I think I could eat that stuff straight out the can with a spoon. I love sweetened condensed milk. And then half a cup of lemon juice. I'm sure you could probably use fresh squeezed lemon juice, but this is what Mama always used, so it's what I'm using too. I'm not messing with it. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in with my other ingredients and then start to combine it. Wyatt was asleep while I was making this, so I didn't get out the mixer. I just mixed it by hand, which is totally fine. It combines pretty well as long as you've let your Cool Whip get soft. Y'all, if you've had your Cool Whip in the freezer, don't forget to sit it out so that it's soft. But you could do this with a mixer. I'm doing, doing it by hand. It works just fine. But what you do want to make sure is that you mix it until it gets really smooth. At first, you'll notice that there are some clumps of the Cool Whip in there and you want to keep mixing until that's all gone. There's no pockets of you know, the sweet condensed milk, anything like that. It's just really, really smooth. And you're about to see here the change in the texture. So you can see now how it's really, really smooth and shiny and delicious and it's ready to go in our pie crust. If you can get a 10 inch graham cracker pie crust, this fits in that perfectly. I only had a nine inch, so that's what I'm using. There'll be a little bit of filling left over. No worries though. We're going to eat that on some strawberries. We'll dip strawberries in that later. I'm not, not going to complain about a little extra of the pie filling. So I'm just smoothing that out a little bit. And then I'm going to put my lid on it and we'll put it in the refrigerator. I guess it would be best if you could let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. We're never that patient around here. As long as it gets a couple of hours so that the pie sets you'll be good to go. We never, we're never patient enough to let it sit overnight. And there's that little bit of extra pie filling that I had. Like I said, we'll enjoy that on some strawberries. Now by the power of video, you can see the finished product. You don't have to wait all day. Uh, this is our finished soup. We're going to top it with some extra cheese and bacon bits and enjoy a nice warm bowl of soup, followed by a cool, refreshing slice of Momal's lemon pie. What a wonderful meal, y'all. We really enjoyed this one. There you have it, y'all. <laughs> Dinner and a dessert and Vlogmas day number one. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and stick around and be part of our family. We sure would love to have you. And I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. We love you. We appreciate you. See you in the next one. Bye, y'all.